Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring my review of the series finale of The Vampire Diaries on the CW. Of course, being episode 16 of season 8. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I watched the episode when it aired. I made sure I did. I got the you know, damn day off of work to make sure I watched it on time. Um, but, you know, I was also with my girlfriend, and she was kind enough to watch it with me. <laughs> uh, she had watched the first few seasons, but uh, had lost interest in in uh, season five. Um, but I still thought it was nice to sort of get her perspective on the series ending, and how they did it, you know, compared to mine. Um, it was fun to watch it with someone. Um, but uh, as far as uh, how I felt about the finale, uh, it, it's almost still hard to put into words right now. Um, I wanted to, in a way, I wanted to, like, wait a day or something, but at the same time, I want to get this video out. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, I will say I was very, very pleased with it, though. I did, uh, like the episode quite a bit. And as a fan, as a diehard fucking fan of The Vampire Diaries, the originals, the whole TVD, you know, universe, um, for me, I was, uh, I was pretty satisfied with it. Uh, we got pretty much everything we were promised. Um, some nice little, you know, winks back to the, the earlier seasons. Um, so yeah, no major complaints. Uh, one little, one little gripe I had with it, but we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, but as well, I'm wearing my Catherine shirt, of course, which I'll show again right now. Pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I didn't take notes for this one. I was just trying to take it all in. Um, but yeah, just, uh, had a lot going on. I, I really liked the, uh, sense of urgency throughout the episode as Vicky was ringing the bell and such, you know, Mystic Fall is going up from flames, you know, Catherine's plan. Um, so I like the sense of urgency there. Definitely gave a sort of that bit of a rush that, a uh, final episode of a show like this would need. Um, and, uh, let us, let us talk about, uh, Miss Catherine Pierce. Um, technically, we do see her before Elena, I believe, um, unless you're counting, uh, you know, Bonnie's sort of a uh, world, you know, seeing her in that uh, sort of a uh, realm. Um, you know, funny, of course, I thought Catherine acting like Elena at first, then uh, her to sort of, you know, Nina Dover was sort of flicking the switch and, you know, having an immediate, you know, sass and, you know, uptight look to Catherine within like a second. Um, you know, once Damon and uh, Stefan figure it out. It was funny seeing uh, her act like Catherine with, like, the straight hair, though. <laughs> uh, luckily, she has a, her more usual Catherine waves going on when she appears later. Um, but it was great to see Catherine again. You, you guys know how uh, hyped I was, uh, you know, for her. And, you know, uh, I, I like, again, I like seeing her in the episode, but at the same time, I felt like they could have done a little bit more with Catherine. Uh, I understand it's the final episode, and you know, they can't, like, get everything in an hour, I guess, or 42 minutes, technically. Um, but I would have liked if there was, like, at least, like, a scene, like, even, like, a 30-second, you know, even, like, 20-second snippet of, like, her being more than just, like, the, the final villain, you know? Um, her as the final villain in general makes sense, you know, it brings it full circle, you know, it start, you know, it started with, uh, Miss Catherine for the Salvatore Brothers, it ends with her. Um, so I like the finality of that, you know, I'm fine with that. I just mean, she came off, you know, just, like, the final villain. I would have liked a moment, like, a genuine, more sincere moment with her and Stefan or something, or her sort of getting a little bit emotional or sensitive or something. Um, and so just being hell-bent on revenge, you know, every single second. Um, which made sense, of course, you know, she, what bridge could she, could she repair, what bridge could she, you know, uh, not burn. Um... But I would like a, a more genuine moment with her and Stefan or something along those lines. Um, and it was kind of a, a little bit annoying that she was getting, like, stabbed and, you know, coming back over and over again. Although, um, she didn't care as much uh, because, of course, she uh, ruled hell and she could just come back, you know, as quickly as she wanted to, really. Um, but I felt like Catherine could, like, stop Damon or whatever from stabbing her at least one of those times. I mean, come on. <laughs> Um, but, you know, despite that, despite me wanting just, like, a little bit more depth to Catherine's return here, uh, you know, of course I still like seeing her, you know, seeing Nando Brovia bring out that sass again, and, 
Uh, I guess I shouldn't complain too much because, uh, you know, like, a few weeks ago or early this season, you know, I didn't, I wasn't really sure if we were going to see Catherine again, but we did, and she's the final villain, which is very appropriate. So, overall, I was happy to see her. Just wish we would gotten, like, just a bit more out of her. Um, but, yeah, the rest of it, uh, again, I didn't take notes, so yeah, I'm not going to be as, as specific as I probably should be right now. Um, but with uh, Bonnie as well, I was glad they didn't kill Bonnie off. Um, you know, I was a little bit worried for a second there that she was going to go out like a martyr again one last time in the final episode. Um, but luckily she does actually survive, which is nice. You know, I like Enzo's encouragement, um, you know, for her to live her life and such. I thought that worked pretty well. It was good seeing Michael Malarkey. Uh, and her stopping the Hellfire, you know, the way she did, I thought it was a really, uh, you know, cool looking scene. Um, so yeah, I thought Bonnie was handled pretty well in this episode. Um, and of course you have Alaric and, uh, Caroline wrangling the kids. Um, Alaric sort of, uh, struggling, uh, to stay back or not. You know, he had to get the kids to safety and he was worried about, you know, Caroline not meeting up with them. Um, but at the same time he did feel a bit of a struggle because he didn't want to, like, abandon Damon or, you know, he does care about Elena deeply like a, a daughter in a way. Um, so he didn't want to just leave her, you know, unattended to either, if he could help it, but... So that part was alright, too. And then, of course, it came down to, uh, one of the Salvatore brothers making a sacrifice. Um, but before we, uh, talk about that, there was also Vicky in the episode. I thought it was actually kind of funny how Damon just threw out the window the first time. Um, it was good to see Vicky again, but at the same time, you know, she's not really a pressing concern, honestly. Um... <laughs> And, of course, Matt, you know, he gets pissed at Damon, even though Vicky is pretty much, like, wired to do what Catherine says, and she's not really herself anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Um, but, yeah, then, as far as the Salvatore brothers' sacrifice, um, it coming down to either Stefan or, uh, Damon, um, I was wondering which way I was gonna go for a little while, uh, but it ends up, uh, Stefan, who actually makes the, uh, final sacrifice, going out, you know, with his, you know, hero hair and everything. Um, which I thought was pretty good, because for a second, they do make it look like Damon, you know, uh, you know, kills Catherine, then dies in the Hellfire with her, um, but then, uh, of course, Stefan's human now, but he still, you know, he still has a great head on his shoulders, he's, uh, clever, or at least has enough common sense to per verbane in his system if he's a human now, which he does, and he's able to, uh, not be fully compelled by Damon. And you know, he actually ends up injecting Damon with the cure, I think, um, which is good. Uh, you know, so Damon and Lane can be paired up a little bit more. Uh, <sighs> excuse me, a little more, you know, appropriately. Um, in a way, it is a bit upsetting that Stefan uh, was the one to die, um, because you know, even given the sense that Stefan has to die and sacrifice himself to make up for Enzo and everything. But again, I still think the blame's been placed on Stefan a little bit too much. You know, Damon's done just as much as he has, if not more, over the years. And Stefan's always done things for, like, a greater, more decent purpose. Um, but at the same time, I thought Stefan's sacrifice was handled really well, was acted very nicely. Um, just the acting throughout this episode is all very good. Um, and I wasn't, like, pissed that Stefan died either. You know, like I said, I thought it was handled well when they did it. Um... And, uh, did I cry in this episode? At first I thought I was going to be able to hold out, um, but when Stefan does die and he's talking to Elena for that last time, I admit I was starting to really, you know, sort of, uh, start to lose it a little bit, um, but then we know that Stefan finds peace because we see Stefan reunite with Lexi again. It was great, awesome to see Lexi, and we know that Lexi found peace, you know, a while ago when she stopped, uh, you know, Marcus and everything like that. Um, so the fact that Stefan seen her, uh, you know, is a pretty much confirmation that Stefan had found a piece as well. And that was a theme of this episode. And they show sort of this really nice montage of all the characters finding peace eventually, like Elena seeing her, her parents again. Um, it was good to see David Andrews' John back. Uh, you know, so then we even see Damon and Stefan sort of meet up in a way, you know, at some point in their future. Uh, whether it's more of like a metaphor, you know, whether it was actually like a flash forward or whatever, it probably wasn't because Damon's a human now. Um, but still, it was giving us all that hope that eventually they would see everyone again, you know, sort of uh, like back in season three, the whole ghost thing. 
Um, and they all eventually will join each other. We know Lane is going to be, be in the medical field now, which you know we've seen uh, flashes of before. And her and Damon do live happily ever after, right up uh, through all their lives, as far as we know. Um, so I did enjoy seeing all of that. Like I said, I love seeing Lexi again, and I was ready to cry. I was sort of, uh, I, I was sort of already. Uh, but then I seen Lexi, it sort of turned into more of a happy, you know, sort of laugh type of thing. Um, so that was pretty touching. It's also nice brief, was briefly uh, seeing Joe again, you know, with a, a Lara, you know, or at least watching over him and the kids. And uh, Lark and Caroline open this, uh, you know, Salvatore Sel boarding school, essentially, you know, like uh, Xavier's school for gifted youngsters, right? <laughs> um, and we see Jeremy briefly, which is cool. Um, him helping, you know, likely train, you know, to go against supernatural forces, or I'm sure they take in, you know, troubled supernatural, you know, uh, people as well. And then, of course, Caroline does get a letter from Klaus, who donated, you know, quite a bit of money. Uh, which is nice. I it went too fast. So I wasn't able to read the whole letter, um, but I, I would think he would acknowledge you know what happened to Stephanie you know, because he, he did uh, quite like Stephanie. He did, he did care about Stefan, um, but we get we, I did see his line at the end. Um, you know, of course, about eventually being with Caroline. Um, why am I why am I not remembering exactly what it said right now? I don't know. Um, Oh yeah, however long it takes, I can't believe I forgot that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that was a nice little wink nudge for maybe uh, the future of the originals. It's, if it's able to go on long enough, I think we'll see Caroline go on to the originals and join Klaus. Um, although I think there's more fitting love interest for Klaus on that show. I don't really care about Caroline. I just want Klaus to be happy. <laughs> and it was still nice to get that you know wink back to uh, the earlier seasons. Um, and like I said, it was nice seeing uh, Damon and Elena go on happily ever after Damon eventually seeing Stefan again to some capacity. And of course, Bonnie traveling the world, Offenzo's encouragement. And uh, yeah, so really, I thought it was really nice, a really good ending to the series. Vampire Diaries, one of my absolute favorite shows of all time. Um, within my top three, I think for sure. I put it, I, I sort of cheat, I put the originals and the Vampire Diaries together on a list. Um, eventually I'll do a video on my top favorites, but it's definitely within my top three of all time, along with the being human, uh, supernatural, you know, maybe a couple others I'd have to debate with, but The Vampire Diaries is, or was and is a very important show to me, and I was very satisfied with this finale. I love the music to it, especially all the sad stuff, you know, it really clicked. It gave me the feels. Um, I thought it was all really nicely acted throughout. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this. Like I said, the only thing I wished for more of was, you know, a bit, delving a bit more into Catherine, um, which I think they should have been able to make time for, honestly. Maybe because she was, like, the final villain, so it seems like we could have had an extra scene or two exploring uh, her sort of mindset a little bit more, maybe. Um, but it was still nice seeing her and, uh, like, all the little appearances and such. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about this uh, series finale. Um, as far as why I'd rate it, it's hard to say right now. Um, I'm thinking like a 9.6, 9.7 out of 10. Um, I couldn't really rate it any lower than like a 9 something. Um, nothing really to complain about. It did give me emotional satisfaction, so I can't really put it down any further. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys uh, within another day or two for my Colin Skull Island review. And uh, peace.